yesterday how to deal with um, this task during the exam. Um, actually, this task is, is not uh, because the, the, the exam is carried on two days, so the infection control task will be assessed um, through the two days, uh, it's not only in, in one day, um, and it will be assessed throughout the whole exam. So the examiners will be evaluating um, you regarding the infection control during the whole uh, exam. Um, I'm going to discuss today, um, I'm going to talk about three uh, aspects uh, in the infection control. First of all, um, as an introduction as, and as to discuss what's uh, mentioned in the ABC handbook. Um, actually, they mentioned that all the candidates um, must perform um, their tasks as if they are doing on real patients. And this is, we should always keep it in our minds um, that whenever what we are doing Thank you. 
protection and the gloves if you are leaving your bay for any reason. If you are going, for example, to bring a material to ask an examiner about something, um, or if you are leaving the whole venue. Um, if we consider this is like our bay, so you, you, you cannot go beyond your bay uh, with the mask eye protection and gloves on, except in one situation, which is um, if you are going to mix the amalgam in the amalgamator, that if the amalgamator is outside your bay, it's not supplied because in some venues the amalgamator is not inside your bay, so it's you need to um, go outside your bay, mix the amalgam and come back. So in this only in this situation they allowed you to keep the PPE on, the old PPE on. And regarding the X-ray communication rubber dam, this tasks you will keep your gown on. Um, no need to take masks from your bed because you will find masks there. I mean for uh, rubber dam, and you will keep this even in communication uh, the gown. And um, for the rubber dam and X-ray, you need to carry your own eye protection with you there because they will not provide eye protection. Eye protection is actually something that the candidate must bring with him or her. Okay, so now we know um, when to put it, when to put the eye protection, I uh, mean the PPE, and when to uh, to take it out. Um, so the next step is to um, discuss how to designate the clean and dirty area inside your bed. Actually, keep it simple as, as much as you can. The examiners are expecting that you are a professional dentist and um, you know how to deal uh, with infection control in simple ways. So um, I will just give you some simple hints about that. Um, if you touch with any instrument, if you, with any instrument or material, you use it inside the mannequin mouth, this will be considered a dirty. So keep this in your mind uh, during the exam. You cannot, uh, usually your hands should be clean, uh, your bare hands, and um, the, the, the gloves, if you put the gloves on even, if you just put the gloves, the gloves will be considered as dirty. Uh, so think about it before you touch anything. Am I gloved or am I, am I with bare hands? So if, if it's bare hands, so you can touch any clean things. But if it's gloves, you shouldn't touch clean things. You should touch only the dirty stuff. Keep always the bracket table free of any materials. So it should be only the instruments in the bracket table. Um, so um, if you use, for example, I will just put the gloves to to make it um, easier for you to understand. If, for example, I'm doing um, so um, I need to use, for example, the flow. So I will use the flow and put it, and then I shouldn't return it actually here because these are all are dirty instruments. However, this would be also dirty, but the instruments are going to be sterilized. But this one, I'm just going to be disinfected. And actually, they said that there is no need need to use any barriers, so don't put barriers on, on the flow, don't put barriers on the light handle or the controller here. So whenever you use this, any of the material inside the mannequin mouth, it should be considered as dirty and return it to the dirty area. Don't return it to the bracket tape. 